maningning. Why did you do it? You are beautiful. As your poems were, as your paintings were, from UP, you preferred teaching in FEU. That's strange. It's a mystery. Why in FEU when you were a daughter of UP? Perhaps perhaps there's no deep, deep reason for it. Perhaps Perhaps the real reason will never be known. But why did you do it, Manining? You were at a very young age, an accomplished educator at a very young age, a professor at a very young age, a name that is known to many, a name that is known especially to the few who know art to the few who practice art. You, you were a jewel. You were a miracle. Why? At that particular instant, there on the seventh floor of the new tech building, what mantra did you did you utter? Before you remove your shoes. And slowly walked and climbed over the edge of the peak. What drove you to do it? Was it love? Was the world too much for you? Was the world too ugly for someone as beautiful as you? You were a blooming fragrance. Why did you deprive the world? of that perfume. What did you find in that silence of yours? Or what voice had told you to do it? Was it an act of sacrifice?
was it? Martyrdom. For what? For love or for art? Did you find something in your meditations? Have you reached a certain peak in your aloneness? Have you find have you found the final music in your silence? You placed a period by jumping off that edge. By finally deciding to fly from that peak where gravity waits for your fragility to touch its fatal hand was it tragedy or was it victory many i have seen you only perhaps the most twice I have been with you only once. It's a poetry reading. Where our names were built together with big names such as Rolando Tino and Augusta de Almeida. But you were already a big name. At least your surname was. But many need. You were good as made. Made by destiny. Set by the heavens to be a star here on earth. I've heard you. loud and clear, the music of your voice, the chords of your lyrics, they were as young as you, they were as young and youthful as you. Were they not there? Were they not present? When you were there at that moment, in a room on the seventh floor, perhaps uttering a prayer or two, perhaps reciting a favorite poem for the last time. I was on a train when I heard the news. Actually, when someone texted me the news, it was unbelievable. It was almost like a joke. For how can a man in neglect die? Such, such, such 
a very promising age. I don't understand that act. Perhaps I would not un never understand you for doing such a thing. Terrible. It was terrible. It leaves a huge. It leaves a deep wound. in Philippine literature. Now, you are a, me you are a memory. Now you are a memory that persists. Was that in your intention? Was that in your mind? I doubt. I doubt it. But you are an experience of literature. You have made Philippine literature human. But there's some subject in, in some classroom, in some university. You have made it sacred even by offering your life to it. I believe God was watching when you did it. Was it destined to happen? I don't know. But several, several years before, a fellow writer wrote about some, someone who was meditating on jumping from the new tech building. He was right, he wrote about this character in his story. He was perpetually meditating on doing it. His story was closer. Because I wrote a similar piece, a similar story. I wrote about a couple who would die also by jumping off a building. They're in FEU also although in a different building, the admin building. The name of the female character was Remea, and the name of the male character was Amber. So it's a play on the word remember. Remeya and Amber. 
For sure we remember you, Marini. And we will remember you forever. Philippine literature will do remember you forever. Philippine literature remembers you now. You are a deep wound in its heart. Where those two stories related to your death? I don't know. Those two stories were written years before. And you would imagine Manini Miklat finally landing on a teaching job in FEU. There's a word for it. Serendipity. It's a key word for FEU and arts. For arts in FEU. You will never hear these words meaning. But such words should be said. Because I was one of those souls who were hurt deeply. By your death. Perhaps because you spoke for all of us. For all of us writers. For all of us artists. For all of us poets. Perhaps you have challenged and braved the unknown and succeeded. I do not know. I am still writing. when you have already written